Hi, I'm Camille Claudel. I'm a female French sculptor. I know that many people remember me as Rodin's mistress, but I'm actually more than that. So I would like to talk a little more about myself. First of all, I was born in northern France in 1864. Then I actually ended my life in this scary mental hospital in France in 1943. I started my life as an artist when I was young because my family, especially father, was so supportive. I read many books about art and sculpture in my dad's room. From 5 to 12, I was taught by the Sisters of Christian Doctrine. Then I entered the Colorosi Academy after I moved to Paris from my hometown. I also shared an independent studio with Alfred Boucher, where he taught. That's when I met my lover, collaborator, and a teacher, Rodin. As you know, he is a wonderful artist who was able to capture various stages of action. He was not the best man to me, but I came up. Now, I would like to talk about my art style and what I did as an artist. I made nuanced portrayals of the human form that were in fact often considered overly sensual and inappropriate. I tried my best to create the classical sensibility close to the Florentine Renaissance masters, but people always criticized me for not being the typical woman. I always fought for the right to study the human body from the living knee. I in fact also influenced Rodin's sculptures. I first met him in 1883 when I was a young girl, and since then, he has been inspired by my artworks. Here are some artworks that we worked on together. The incomplete meditation that is constructed around the sinuous line. The martyr that is an abstract portrayal of a naked, dead, or sleeping female. Lastly, this piece is called The Thought, and it's actually an adaption of a portrait of me with a bread and cat. My ability to convey narrative in marble and bronze sculptures definitely inspired me a lot. Rodin kept both me and Rose Burette in his life because he was reluctant to end his 20-year relationship with her even after he met me. And this love triangle eventually drove him crazy. Okay, now let's talk about my art pieces. I picked four of my favorites. First of all, it's the prayer. This is a piece I made during the short breakup with Rodin. It shows a figure directed outward, unlike Rodin's piece, The Thought. Next, it's the waltz. This is probably the most well-known work of mine. This waltzing couple symbolized the passionate and erotic love that I could not openly express. I was refused to be given with a commission when I sculptured this work because it was too erotic. It was sad that not only Rodin but the world was refusing me. Next, it is the flute player. I intended to make it as if the flute player is transported from the noises of human world to the silence of eternity. I think it worked pretty well with the details and the posture of the flutist. Lastly, it is the bust of Rodin. This is such a detailed portrayal of him, and I expressed my mixed feelings about him in this sculpture. I did have mental problems and had to end my life in the mental hospital. However, I would like everyone to remember me as the beautiful and talented female sculptor, Camille Claudel. Thank you.